with Energy to Wales, um, with Central to Lead and the Health Boards and Trust to lead an improved strategic approach to planning and commissioning of the future workforce. Um, it will consider all parts of the health sector in its work, ensuring that planning is integrated across all delivery as well as key partners such as social care. And it will also recognise the value of all professionals from the sector working to provide raised standards of training and skills to every student uh, or trainee. Sounds very straightforward, of course, but we know there's a lot of work to be done and a lot of work to continue with all of the existing practices as well in this transitional period. But I do expect that HIW will be able to, over time, build on the existing provision to provide significant expertise in workforce intelligence and in the shape of our workforce, offering other health bodies leadership and advice on role and team design to make sure that we have the best performance for our patients and for the Welsh population. Crucially, the new body will also be set the task of leading our work to promote the health service in Wales as a premier career choice across all roles in the NHS and across all the diversity and geographical areas of Wales. These are a few examples, but I'd like to be clear with everyone. The bodies which we're bringing together, and that means the bodies that you're working on right now, are effective organisations who work well. This change is not because of ineffective performance, and you will be aware of the review work that led to the recommendations for a single organisation. And we will want this professional performance to continue as we create a new body, despite the fact that we know that establishing new organisations can be distracting. It's really important to keep the focus on core responsibilities. As you know, uh, we've been acting the areas of current organisations that will transfer to HEIW next year. Uh, obviously, that's built on some of the representation in representation we're going to today. And whilst that doesn't provide absolute certainty and there may be some outstanding questions, I hope it offers some greater clarity as we go forward. The processes of a change such as, such as this can be frustrating at times, but I am grateful for your patience as we move forward. It's, it's really important that we continue to bring together all of the processes and decisions to enable a smooth transfer against a challenging timetable for April next year. Uh, just to reflect on this, um, as a chief executive of one of the health boards that was created back in 2009, I remember us all working at pace to establish the new health boards in a transition period of six months. So I just want to emphasise that we can do this, but it's important to make sure that we get any unanswered questions on the table at this stage. I hope that's going to be part of your conversations and discussions through the course of today. Um, and I hope that my own role as the senior responsible owner actually reinforces the importance of a, a positive and constructive establishment of the new organisation. But I also want to make the point that we do have experience to draw on here in the room, but also outside of this, in terms of Wales and creating organisations that I think will help us with the scale of this particular challenge. So I also want to take an opportunity just the outset of your session this morning, just to thank those of you who have been able to support the work through our work streams, the accommodation use group, and elsewhere within the processes that are in place. I think that this spirit of collaboration and getting it right at this really early stage is vital with HEIWs to be a success. And I want to thank Peter, Margaret, and Stephen and, and their teams just for the positive attitudes that's been taken to date for the work that's underway. Um, I think this has actually been very visible. I do thank you for that in what I know are tense times as we move forward with the new organisation. Um, it makes a real difference and I am sure it will continue to do so whatever. Hopefully little bumps occur in the road that may come in our way over the course of the next few months. I think we have to be pragmatic to know that there will still at this stage be some unanswered questions. And I, again, I hope that you appreciate that today it's a really important part of highlighting those to us. Now, um, as the morning elaborates, David's going to tell you a little bit more about some of the forthcoming milestones, and hopefully it will answer questions if you like in advance, or simply the means to post them at this time. But it's pretty clear that September is a critical month for the programme. But um, just for my introduction of my piece, I just want to say how excited I am about the team here today, that there's a really good outcome to be aimed here, which I think is going to support us for better health services for the population of Wales. Um, I'm obviously going to keep a close eye, not just on these early discussions here today, but also on overseeing the programme in particular over the forthcoming weeks. And I would just really like to maintain an open and engaging process right through um, to give you reassurance, but also to take full advantage of the significant change that we're making 
and of course the significant experience that we have, not least in the room uh, here this morning, but also in this afternoon session as well. So um, I was just going to finish off by saying um, thank you for listening, John Camrando, but welcome to the 11th Health Organisation in Wales, and I hope you have a really good morning together. Okay. Very happy, thank you very much. Thanks for listening.